my goodness, everybody. I am so excited. I can't, I can't believe it. So you, you know the training's getting a little more serious when you gotta pull the cooler out. That's right, here's my cooler. I'm gonna get my drinks ready. So when you're watching this on Sunday morning, there's a good chance I'm gonna be doing, in the middle of my tempo run, 15 miles on the Highline Canal in Denver. If you're out there, give me a wave. I'm gonna be pounding ground, but as soon as I'm done, I wanna make sure I'm putting the right nutrients back into the body and I, I like my drinks to be nice and cold, hence the cooler. So that's what I'm up to now. And yes, we're gonna go uh, later into the studio, talk about potentially, potentially the lightest running vest in the world. All right, here we go, everyone. So you all probably do this as well. You fill up a water bottle, put it in the free, don't fill it up all the way, put it in the freezer, and then uh, you got a nice good chunk of ice for your, uh, for your cooler. everyone hydration is set for tomorrow's tempo day when you're watching this again today i just got back from my six mile run 10k 920 per mile all right 545 per kilometer we're bopping baby in the new balance beacon v2s nice and easy you know easy days easy hard days hard that is how i like to train all right let's dive into it the topic for today have i discovered the lightest running vest in the world in the entire world uh running vests have exploded really in the last 10 years i don't remember and okay i remember i remember camelback that's all i remember when i was in high school or college it's crazy like now i was so i've been doing research for the past two weeks trying to find the lightest running vest in the world and sure enough i think i found it in fact it's hanging right here on the tripod i'm going to show it to you here in a second but first i just want to walk you through this was my first uh, running vest by Ultimate Direction. This is four years old, I do believe. Love this vest. Uh, it's the Anton Kropichka, I think the uh, Tony Kropichka uh, original vest, I do believe. And it, it worked with these hard bottles here. This is what I used on my first Nolan's 14 attempt. And then last summer, I decided to upgrade to a little more nimble Raid Light vest here, which you have seen me use a ton to carry water, food, but also, most importantly, the GoPro and the drone. This is what I use for filming for all of you. So that's from Raid Light. And as I'm transitioning from ultra running to marathon running, I've been observing a lot more marathon races in the past 12 months, watching them on YouTube or watching them on NBC. And I'm noticing a lot of participants more and more, not not everyone, but more and more, I see people wearing vests in the mar in a road marathon. Um, so here's a couple points I just want to bring up as to why I think it's not, frankly, a bad idea to consider using a, a, a vest in a marathon. So wearing a vest to carry your hydration and your nutrition. So here's just a couple points that I wrote down. Uh, first of all, you have consistent hydration that is not mixed. Uh, you know, sometimes you can get to an aid station and the drinks can be mixed too thick or maybe not thick enough and you put it back and you're like, oh, that was like way too much sugar or way too much something um, so that you can mix your drinks how you want and you can drink consistently, meaning you don't have to drink just at the aid stations. You can drink, you know, maybe every two miles as opposed to every, who knows, maybe every four miles, however often the aid stations are, are on the marathon course. Uh, let's see. There's no excuse not to fuel well during the race when you have your own vest because it's literally right on you. Uh, so in, in your mind, mentally, you, you can't like fall back on that thought. Like, oh my gosh, I'm not doing well because uh, the aid station is you know two and a half miles ahead and I, I'm, I'm running out of water, I'm running out, running out of goose. So that's another thought. Um, you can, now this is a little, I don't know, this is maybe a little outside the box, but you can run 
through aid stations and not break your stride. If an aid station is really busy, or maybe an aid station is like you just don't feel like you need to stop, like you feel like you're in a groove, but you know you should still have some water in like two miles from now, um, it's on you, it's always with you. So that's another reason that I would consider wearing a vest is you don't break your stride and you just run through the aid stations but because once again, the, uh, the nutrition and the hydration is with you. Um, and just another thought is that if you're running a marathon and it's more than three and a half hours, I would, I would consider a vest more so. If you're running under three and a half hours, your pace is going to be faster. And so the bouncing of the bottles or the, or the yeah, the, whatever kind of bottles you're using, like they're going to be bouncing a little bit and it might my, it may break your stride down just a little bit to have that water. Usually the water is sitting right on your chest. Um, sometimes you can use one second. Sometimes you can use a bladder. That's I actually love using a bladder that sits on your back. Um, but again, you're going to feel a little bit more of that bounce. But, you know, it just depends on the paces that you're running. So just wanted to bring those points up. Uh, maybe a couple concerns for wearing a vest in a marathon. Uh, obviously comfort. In fact, uh, well, I'll save that for a second. Comfort, a little, you know, extra weight because you're carrying water on you, uh, and then temperature control. You wouldn't want the vest to be, you know, depending on the design. Like this vest is actually pretty warm. I would never wear this vest in a marathon. It's just like it's it's not made for marathon. It's made for running in the mountains. Um, so temperature control. Uh, you wouldn't want your vest to make you too hot. And now through my research over the past two weeks to discover and find the lightest running vest in the world, in the entire world, I found three others that are comparable in weight, but are not as light as the one that is hanging right here on the tripod that I'm gonna show you, I promise, in one second. So, and this will, el will eliminate some of the companies that you might be thinking in your mind is the lightest vest. All right, here we go. The, actually we'll go from heaviest to lightest. So, we'll start with the Camelback Nano Vest, which weighs five ounces or 150 grams. Next, the Ultimate Direction Marathon Vest, which weighs 4.9 ounces or 141 grams. And last but not least, the lightest that I could find through my research outside of the one that I own, the Solomon S-Lab Sense 2, which weighs 3.3 ounces or 95 grams. So eliminate th those three companies. Can anybody guess? Which company in the entire world, and I have discovered everyone, there are, I don't want to say hundreds, but there are a ton of running vest companies. I'm going to say at least, I saw at least 50. And some are small companies, some are big companies. We're talking, there are a ton of companies out there. So this company that has the lightest running vest now in the world that I could find, okay? And they claim this on their website. So I'm not just pulling this out of nowhere. So if you're gonna claim it on your website, it better be true. That's right, it is the Raid Light, oh baby, Raid Light Revolutive. 3 liter. Probably not saying that right. It's French. That's right. Raid Light is a company from France. This is their Revolutive, uh, sorry, Raid Light Revolutive 3 liter with the bottles in it. Oh my goodness. I've got some stats to uh, read to you right now. So it's very light. Um, it's an enveloping vest design. It has two zipped side pockets to protect phones, keys, GoPros, oh yeah, and yes, I haven't tested it yet. I bet you could fit at least, if you wanna do just gels, I bet you could put seven, maybe eight gels in both of those pockets easily. Or maybe you want some real food in there. It's laser tech, which means uh, the process of cutting the textiles, cutting this material is by laser, okay? So that's pretty sweet. And uh, real quick, it says on the back here, the Radical Lightweight Race Vest is 65 grams for a three liter vest, which translated to ounces, uh, I wrote it down here, is 2.3 ounces. Oh my goodness, everyone, I am amazed. Oh yeah, by the way, 
It has a one year guarantee for zippers and uh, zippers and seams. So if, if a zipper breaks or if a seam tears, you, um, you, get it, you get to send it in and they will replace it for free for one year. That's pretty sweet as well. You better believe I'm gonna be using this a ton. In fact, hey, let's put it on for you here in the studio. Uh, you're seeing some old foot some footage outside the studio of me putting it on, but I wore this today on my six mile run. Now, granted, I wasn't racing today, obviously, but uh, it's, uh, it is incredibly lightweight. I would say very comfortable. I love these snaps, love them. I don't know what you did, Raid Light, in your design. It's like, they're so simple, so simple. And okay, the first half mile, I noticed the bounce of the bottles, um, but then after, after three quarters of a mile, maybe one mile, I completely forgot about the bottles bouncing just a little bit. Um, and I had them full. I would never really wear this, this vest in a race full. And I'll just say, I'm not gonna be using a vest in the Amsterdam Marathon. Um, I would probably vary. Actually, 50K and above, boom. Oh, I cannot wait to race another 50K because of this vest. I'm telling you, game changer. Game, the last 50K I raced, I actually wore this Ultimate Direction vest, which looking back is a little silly now, considering how heavy this is and how un, it's just not nimble at all. I'm telling you everyone, game changer. Uh, the gauntlet has been dropped. It has been dropped. Solomon, step your game up. Innovate, step your game up. All the companies over in the Alps, get ready. Like, I'm telling you, this is the real deal. Um, now listen, okay, I've only run in it once. I will take it out for a speed test at some point. Um, if the race next week in New Hampshire, the U.S. Mountain Championships was longer, I would, I would race in this, absolutely. Now, I'm just gonna read through a couple more specs real quick here. So made in France, laser cut, a uh, monofilament fabric harness, race vest with five pockets. Oh man, two zip side pockets to protect phones, keys, and other valuables. Total volume of three liters, okay? One main pocket of two liters, two front shoulder pockets for hydration, boom. Oh, here you go, hold on, wait for it. Oh, we don't, we're, they're not messing around, everyone. I mean, if I was ever to get over into uh, CCC or uh, TDS, or some, I don't know if I'd use this, probably not for UTMB, but look at this, my Lecky trekking poles. Oh, you don't think it can hold it? Boom, shakalaka. Look at that. How on earth can this vest hold poles as well? Oh my goodness, everybody. And I'm back. Okay, back to the specs. Twin chest straps. You're seeing me put it on right now. One with a whistle. So, if, you know, if you get lost out in nature, it has a whistle built onto it. Pretty sweet. Actually, let me test it out for you. Hold on, there you go, there you go. There's the whistle, and then supplied with two 600 milliliter easy flasks, also compatible with 350 milliliter flasks. That's a lot of water. There it is in fluid ounces on your screen as well. And then the sizes that it comes in, 66 to 800 centimeters for size small, and that's, I think, I believe the chest. Uh, medium, 76 to 96 and uh, centimeters and large is 92 to 115 centimeters. Ladies and gentlemen, a game changer. I don't even know what else to say. I'm probably gonna leave it there. Uh, vest is keyword question of the day. How do you hydrate during marathon races or ultra marathon races, okay? Maybe distinguish down in the comments uh, which, which distance you're going for. And is it the belt? Is it the handheld? Is it the vest? Is it the aid stations? Is it something else that I'm not thinking of, okay? You guys are amazing. I love you. I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm stoked. I'm pumped. I just can't believe it. I, I, love, I love the back. It's so nimble. It's so comfortable. I'm ready to go race. I'm ready to go race. All right, everyone, that is it for today. I'm gonna throw it back on the right to my last Raid Light vest vlog from a long time ago over a year ago it's kind of funny actually looking back at it and on the left i'm going to throw it back to using my ultimate direction vest as well that is it for today i love you guys see beauty work hard and love each other see you tomorrow